Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike from Job Ready English. Here with a bit of a different video for you today. I want to take you through an explanation and also give you a cover letter cheat sheet, which you can download in the description below to really outline why you're probably doing your cover letter wrong. We're going to go through a successful example for Goldman Sachs, which is probably one of the world's most famous companies and generally a company that people will associate with being really difficult to get a job at. I'm going to show you a standard cover letter that I receive. I probably get 10 or 20 of these via email every week and kind of what I mean by your cover letter is probably wrong and then take you through the cover letter cheat sheet and some things to think about just because I tend to find that the videos that I've seen about cover letters aren't really that nuance they don't really provide good examples or they tend not to really give people the guidance for how they can make it specific for the company and the role that they're applying to so let's start off by looking at an example from Goldman Sachs now Goldman Sachs for many many years has asked for a cover letter of up to 300 words this is an example of a cover letter which is broken down to 244 words um, Dear Sir, Madam, I'm currently available to work while pursuing a part-time master's course in computer science at a university. Goldman Sachs has continued to exceed expectations in the industry, building on its illustrious 150-year history. Reading the shareholders' letter from mid-March 2020, it's impressive that even during this adversity, Goldman managed a 10% return on equity on net revenues of $36.55 billion dollars with the investment banking division generating its second largest year of annual revenue and the bank retaining its position as number one bank of choice for equity and common stock offerings. As an XXX refugee in the UK, I'm no stranger to working hard, getting things done and making the impossible possible. That's why I want to work for a bank that consistently exceeds the limits of what people believe can be done. The engineering team is pivotal to the bank's continued success, working tirelessly to innovate and deliver better and faster solutions to internal teams and our clients. I have a good understanding of distributed systems and linking web applications to databases. My background is in engineering and fluid mechanics, and I'm proficient in MATLAB and Python, and also unusually have a solid graph of a um, couple of things that have been removed for anonymity. I can use algorithms and I'm familiar with how to use any programming language to innovatively solve difficult problems. I'm willing and excited to learn and available to start from X day. So that was a successful Goldman Sachs cover letter that we helped a client to write and then edit and he went on and got an interview. I don't think he got a job there. He um, didn't do so well interview or the second round of interviews. So why, why is this successful? Why is this notable? Well, I'm going to break this down for you a little bit. Um, dear sir, madam, so first paragraph, who are you and what are you doing? Um, all of this is broken down and I'll show you briefly at the end of the video in the cover letter cheat sheet, which you can download below. Um, second paragraph, why do you want to work for Goldman Sachs? What's some unique facts about them? Third paragraph was a little bit different. We did a little something that makes you different. You could also end with that as well. And paragraph four was what would you do in your job and why you, would you be good at it? So that's really taking the job description and say, hey, I would need to do ABC and I'm good at ABC because I've done X, Y, Z. Loads of people miss that out in cover letters. And I'm going to show you an example of this afterwards with just a random cover letter that I got, I think, last week. And then finally, when could you start? This, again, is a point where there's a lot of drag for people. They tend to say, I'm really looking forward to starting at your amazing company and I feel like it'll be a really good asset. Um, you know, it's kind of like the desperate first date scenario where you're just kind of going, no, you know, we've had a good time. Let's see each other again. You can see the other person's not really that into it or you're not that into it. So that's kind of a breakdown for Goldman Sachs. And that's 244 words. Now, we'll explain that. You probably wouldn't write a cover letter like that first draft. You need to write it to a second or a third draft to kind of get that refinement. Just so you know, my writing process tends to be first draft I write, second draft I edit and say, is this what I wanted to say? Third draft I edit again and then say, is this short, simple and to the point? And then only in my fourth draft or my third edit do I look at spelling, punctuation and grammar and formatting. It depends how good you want that piece of work to be. You know, good cover letters do make a difference. So it is worth putting the time in. So you might say, well, OK, that seems like a really good cover letter. Now I'm going to show you a bog standard cover letter that I get 10 or 20 of a week, which looks a little something like this. Um, Dear Sir, Madam, I've recently seen your advert for the role of waiter, which you're looking for in your company and be very interested to apply for this role. 
I've worked in customer facing roles for many years now and enjoy providing good quality service to my customers. I made it my business to know everything I can about the menu, the daily specials, and I like to be able to recommend dishes to my customers. I think it's very important to provide excellent customer service so that customers come back and remember their dining experience. I feel that I have a confident nature, I'm happy to learn new skills and always like to ensure that I'm busy and that everyone around me is working hard to achieve a pleasant experience for the customers. I'm interested in food and enjoy finding out about new ingredients and like to ask questions to my manager and the chefs. I've enclosed my CV for your consideration. Should you be interested in my skills, please do not hesitate to contact me and I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for taking the time to read my letter and CV, yours sincerely. The reason why I wanted to show maybe a not so good cover letter next to a good cover letter is you can clearly say the difference. So you'd say like, um, if I were to go through this, it's like, who are you and what are you doing now? What are you applying for where? You know, after this, there's nothing about the company. So there's nothing about why you want to work at this company. You might say, well, they're just applying to be a waiter. So what? I mean, ultimately, if you're not going to put the effort in just to do like 10, 15 minutes of research, don't be surprised if you don't get a response back. Um, what about where is the understanding of what you would be doing and why you have those skills? Um, another really common thing is like, how long have you been a waiter? Oh, how long have you been a waiter and in what roles? Often people say like, oh, I've got previous experience doing this or I've worked here, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like how long, when, how much, what did you do? Try and be as specific as possible. And you'll see here at the end, just a little bit of drag, you know, but this is a really short cover letter and they're sending this to me because they're not getting any responses. And if you look you know, and you went through the Goldman Sachs cover letter and you'll know why. So how can we write great cover letters every single time that are going to get us interviews? Because ultimately that's the point of cover letters. If you looking at this cover letter and you think, well, yeah, I just send generic cover letters to loads of companies, chances are you're gonna get a really poor response rate because great cover letters are tailored to the companies themselves. So you really need to make a little bit more of an effort. Yes, it does take longer, but better to send two quality applications a week and get a 25 or 50% response rate than 20 applications a week and get a 0% response rate. This is all about responses and all we need is one yes to proceed through to the next round. So here's our cheat sheet. Um, this is just the rough Google Docs draft. The one that you'll get will look much prettier. Um, so here's a few things to think about a cover letter. It should be no more than 400 words long. Uh, you don't need addresses, dates, letterheads, design or photos. Very often I still get people uh, sending cover letters and when I have a look at them, if I have the chance, they'll have the address of the business, the address of them and I'm like, I'm curious, is this a letter that you're posting? They're like, no. So I'm like, well, why do you need the address? So here's the basic structure, opening greeting, who are you and what do you want? Why do you want to work for this company? Why this role? Why you and what's your availability? So in the opening greeting, you know, give the name of the recruiter if you can. If not, just say, dear sir, madam, what year are you in? What degree are you studying? Where are you studying? What position are you applying to and where? The same holds true if you're holding a position as a professional, then you'd say, I am currently an X at Y and have been there for Z years. Yeah. Why do you want to work for this company? Pick out two to six unique facts about the company. There's a list of facts and sources. They could be financials, clients, key events, awards, unique language, core values, but it should be unique. Yeah, it's not going to be something that's generic. It's going to be unique and specific. And also name your, you know, get it from a source, generally from the companies about us history or annual report. Then you want to talk about why do you want to do this role? Find and use the job description. If the job description that you've gotten for that particular company is not very good, then just use another job description right that's all you need to do then you want to talk about what would you do day to day what skills do you need what training would you receive and why you think you're good only then do you talk about why you you know do you have any related experience what skills do you have related to that job what's an interesting fact about you 
So an important mistake and a very common one that I see time and time again with cover letters, people just talk about themselves throughout the cover letter. You're meant to be talking about the company or the job and really describing why you're a good fit and giving as many keywords as possible because the chances are your cover letter is going to get passed just like your CV for an application tracking system. So it's going to be looking for particular keywords that are relevant to that job. If you don't have those keywords, then you're not, your cover letter isn't going to make it. So it needs to be as specific to the job and the role as possible. And finally, you end off with your availability. Basically, thank you for your time. This is when I'm available to start. Um, I do always recommend you do at least one edit for your cover letter. Give it a five minute break, then reread with a spell checker for SPG. Another really good editing method that I personally like and I use all the time as a writer is I print stuff off and read it out loud because I can catch uh, missing words, stuff that's basically been missed through the spell checker. Maybe I said psych instead of like. Both are relevant words for the spell checker, but it's clearly psych is wrong. Um, or just sentences that sound a bit weird or a little bit clumsy. And just to repeat that again, I generally do at least three edits. Like the first edit is, is this what I want to say? The second edit is short, simple and punchy. And the first, the third edit is SPG and formatting. So uh, if you want that, make sure you click the link down in the description below. That's why your cover letters probably aren't working. That's why you're not getting through. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more like this, please drop us a comment down below. Let us know how we did. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Bye.